<laughs> Y'all, this is my fucking third time making this motherfucking video. So, this is about to be some shit. Um, I want to talk about some random stuff. Whoa, hold up, because it's really bothering me. The government. The government and it's false. Okay, now, well, what's bother? okay, what's really bothering me is the fact that, okay, wait, one thing I think that's great, that's amazing, is the fact that the government is trying to, is starting to legalize gay marriage and same-sex marriage. A couple states already did it because they're smart and everyone's starting to catch along like this is the gay community, the LGBT community is growing. It's growing rapidly and the government is starting to realize that we want, we are not all, well I don't know how to put it, it's really hard to word so I'm gonna just throw it out there. We're not all whores and I see it on TV a lot. And, like, they, like, portray themselves as it's going to be a one-night stand. I'm going to fuck this guy or girl and leave it at that. We're not all like that. And it's horrible that the, the, the media is portraying it as that. But it's coming along and it's progressing. And the government is starting to realize that we want just as much as straight people do. We want it just as much to become a family. We want to connect. Like, we want to become married. And the government is starting to connect with that and they're starting to work with it because we are all human and gay discrimination is really, really big in the United States. I don't know why the fuck it is, but it is. You see, you hear the words, oh, this is gay, that's gay, no homo. Like, what the fuck? What is this no homo shit supposed to mean? Like, Oh, that nigga's cute, but no homo. Are you hiding something, honey? Hmm. You think that nigga's cute, but no homo? Either you trying to be funny and do some stupid shit, or you on DL. You need to stop that shit. Mmm. That's what else is bothering me. I'll get back to the government thing in a little bit. But what's bothering me is the fact that niggas need to be on the DL. I know fucking three dudes that are on the down low on being gay. One, this first of all, this kid has a butt like a woman, swears he's head diva, walks around talking about in his high ass pitch voice, all the way up here talking about blah 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 like nigga, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Huh. If I had an ass like that, I would be strutting my shit in my tight skinny jeans, working myself. You're quote unquote bisexual. What pussy have you had? None? Stop doing that. Stop. Stop. Everybody know everybody thinks you're gay. Everybody knows that you like dudes. You be hitting on my boyfriend talking about, oh he cute, blah 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 blah. Nigga, first of all, you ain't had no types of pussy to be calling yourself a bisexual. I don't care who the fuck you are. If you call yourself a bisexual and ain't had no type of pussy and been all up on other niggas' dicks, you're gay. Stop that shit. And another guy. There's huh, another one. This nigga has been hitting on me for years and years and years since elementary school. Nigga, I'm in high school. I'm a senior in high school. You've been hitting on me since seventh grade. Stop that shit. You, my friend, are gay. You walk around just like I do. With the fingers and the hand motions and all this shit. You're gay. You like dick. You ain't had no types of pussy either. Stop that shit. Man. Oh, I couldn't even say that. Put your diva crown on and stop acting like a little bitch. You like dick. Don't try to portray that you don't like Nigga, what? You like this. Dick. Another dude, same as the beginning. 
This nigga has liked me since freshman year. But because we have the same best friend, he refuses. He re refuses to date me. <sighs> it touches me, but at the same time, it pisses me the fuck off. Because even though I have a boyfriend now, I still talk. I still talk to him, but it's not like I'm gonna go and run and tell that. Like, I'm going to go and fuck him, leave him for my boyfriend. No, I love my boyfriend with all passion. Like, ugh, I can't even explain to you. But I still talk to this kid, but it's not the same. Like, we'll, I'll talk to him as a friend, but he thinks otherwise. It don't matter to me. Like, it's irrelevant. But he liked me for so long, played like he did it. He played me, and then came back around again, talking about, oh, I really like you, but I don't want things, if me and you wind up dating and things break off, I don't want shit to be messed up between me, you, and so-and-so. Didn't know. I, I could have sworn that exes could be best friends. Not all the time, but some of the time. <sighs> Hello? Just because, even though me, me and you had our little thing, like, say for instance, if me and him wind up, me and him wound up dating, and we broke up, we could have either still be friends, still be on the friendly level, or I could hate his ass to kingdom come. <laughs> Hello, wake your ass up. But whatever, I'm gonna leave that alone. Now y'all know what's been going through my mind at 4:53 a.m. on July 30th, motherfucker. So, yes, back to the government. So. New York just legalized gay marriage. I am just so happy. So that means when I move to New York next year, I could possibly marry my boyfriend in two or three years if they don't revoke the, the privileges. Which they better not because New York has the bestest gay pride ever. Even though I have not been to New Orleans, Georgia, or Chicago. And I do plan on going there. Or Florida. I'm going to go to Gay Pride. I'm going to start, go start traveling to Gay Pride, y'all. Traveling. Traveling. Oh, and I want to do a shout out to Miss Adriana London. Yes, work, bitch, work. I love her so much. Like, her channel is the bestest. She went to school with my best friend. So now it's like, what? But if I meet Adrian in London, oh my god, I will pass out. And I want to shout out Malibu, aka Dollface Barbie at Dollface Barbie TV. Hit that if you don't know who that is, hit that bitch up right quick. He is like the realest person, one of the realest people on YouTube. I swear to you, him, Adrian in London. B. Scott, look him up too. There's a couple people. I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but those are my like lovers. I love them. They're just amazing. Ooh, and Kingsley. Some bitches find him annoying, but I just find him mad cool. Like he just talks about the realest, the craziest, weirdest stuff ever. You never think of. But back to the government. Um. And what makes me mad about the government is the fact that they want us of the LGBT communities throw our lives on the line. On the line for our quote unquote country of equality and freedom. Yet, some states are still not allowed 
to have gay marriage. Racial discrimination is still up. Um, sexual orientation discrimination is still there. Like, if you want us to be, throw ourselves out there for the country, at least give us something back that we could come home from deployment from and look forward to. Like, I recently heard that someone who was deployed, I heard it just a couple minutes ago on Wendy Williams, that someone who was deployed was not allowed to talk to their partner because of don't ask, don't tell. What the fuck? I'm out here busting my ass, dodging bullets and mines and and bombs and grenades and shit and rockets. And y'all not gonna allow people to talk to their partners because of some stupid ass government military law? Who the fuck are you? Get your shit together. And this video is getting way too fucking long, so I will talk to y'all later. Actually, I'm going to talk in another video about my fashion line that's coming out within the next two years. So, I'm Serafina Fox, coming out your box on YouTube.